Hi guys, I think we've reached the bottom of the barrel here. This caller to the Five Live show is a culmination of the toxic rhetoric over the last 20 years, from the likes of UKIP and Nigel Farage, to the Daily Express and 30p Lee Anderson. This caller, who goes by the name Patricia, believes that the UK government should treat asylum seekers even worse than how Suella Braverman and the Home Office is treating them today. Have a listen to this vile comment. Because I think, Patricia, you think we should be hard line on this. Tell us more. Uh, you want my opinion? I do. That's what it's all about. <laughs> right. Um, I, I think um, it's very tough, and I'm sorry there will be some deaths. I truly am sorry about that, but we should not let them land. Sorry, what did you say? We should not let the boats land. No, the, the bit before you... Um, I'm, I'm truly sorry that we, there will be some deaths because when, when the boats turn back, um, there will be some deaths, and that's really, really a, a bad thing. But if we, they will then stop coming. <sighs> Nicky is shocked. He doesn't know how to respond. I'm not really shocked because if you look back at the rhetoric from the likes of Nigel Farage, the BNP, and then UKIP, and then the Brexit Party, and now Reform UK, and then perhaps less extreme parties like the Conservative Party, this has become the normal rhetoric of the day. You know, what used to be extreme is now mainstream. It was, it used to be far-right politicians in extremely fringe parties were talking about, F, you know, telling refugees to F off back to France, not the deputy leader of the Conservative Party. And even if it was somebody in the Conservative Party, it would be maybe a councillor who would be shamed into resigning over this, or a, a Tory party member, or perhaps even a backbench MP, not the deputy leader of the Conservative Party. But as I said, the rhetoric over the last 20 years has become mainstream. It's become normalised, where you have, where you get to a stage where a member of the public feels perfectly safe in the sense of not being ridiculed, to call into a national broadcaster and say, well, you know, I'm sorry if people will die, but the priority has to be to turn them back. Now, of course, the UK government can't do that. Even if it, even if it were to try, well, you, where can you send them? To the middle of the, the sea between England and France, and then what will happen? Then the boats will come back again. But this idea that, well, you know, if we turn them back and some people die, well, that's a, call, that's a price worth paying. Because we have to stop them. Maybe that will convince them not to come. These are people who want to be in Britain. They don't want to be in France. I don't know how many times do we have to say this. They don't want to stay in France. They don't want to stay in Belgium. They don't want to stay in Germany. They don't want to stay in Italy. They want to be in Britain. And this is a small percentage of the total number of people who arrive in Europe. But the likes of the Daily Express, the Daily Mail, and Conservative MPs, including senior ones, even the Home Secretary, who are saying that well, you know they all want to come here. No, they don't. It's a very small percentage. And even that small percentage... Um, you're hearing calls like this. Turn them back. If they die, well, you know, maybe that will convince them not to come in the first place. Where do you go from here? Because I'm not hearing the, the right-wing media tone it down a bit. Unfortunately, I think it's going to get worse as we get closer to the election. Because many Conservative MPs feel they have nothing to lose. They, they're probably going to lose their seat, so they may as well go out with a bang. Or perhaps they're preparing for some job after Parliament, maybe working for GB News or Talk TV or something. So they know they have to grab as much attention as possible, promote themselves. And this is a good way to promote themselves, sadly. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.